Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to look into a common issue we face while placing the apertures. We are also going to discuss a simple solution to sort out this kind of issues in your project. Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I have considered a sample project of a villa. Okay, and you might be having such apertures huge windows from floor to the ceiling in your projects and when you're placing this apertures if you place it a bit at the end you may be having the walls been cut let's see how is that to place this type of apertures we'll go to the plan view story mode go to apertures here i have options for different types of windows i'll select this one okay my window is from floor so the still height will be 0 and assume that my height of the window is 3 meters okay and the window is on this wall from this end till this end so I will select draw new aperture place the first point here extend it all the way to the end and click here so if I zoom in you can see that I have not placed it exactly at the end of this room that is inner counter will end here at this point but I have drawn the aperture a bit extending to this point sometimes it happens when we are working on projects when you place it in such a way then when you see in the 3d here because of this window my this wall has got cut and even my this wall has been cut let me show that again to you before placing the aperture it was something like this but after placing the aperture it has cut all the walls in between so how can you fix this one it's very simple let's go to the plan view i'll select the aperture okay see i have selected this one again we'll go to the plan view and make sure you have selected this aperture scroll down if you scroll down here you have properties under properties you have fixed cutting depth click here and you can give the cutting depth cutting depth is nothing but distance of this aperture that is center of the aperture to the wall so we know the wall thickness is usually 0.2 meters then half of it will be 0.1 but if you're not sure select the tape measure and measure it so here it is around 0.127 i'll keep it 0 0.127 okay if you if you have observed did you observe this cutting depth okay now we'll go to the 3d see how fixed okay so this way if you give the cutting depth as per your wall thickness then you will not have the issues of the aperture cutting your all walls sometimes this happens like maybe we need the aperture end to end and we try to place it as per the autocad drawing we drag the window till the end and because of it we'll be having unnecessary cutouts in the walls so this way you can fix it usually i think this kind of a problem you will be having when you are constructing multi-story facades so even there you can fix it in similar way let's check that again i will draw the window on this wall so i'll go to the plan view let me select different window now i'll select this one still height is zero height of the window is three okay and i'll place it at this wall draw new aperture from here till the end and I will extend it more okay now check the 3d see because of this window even this wall got cut right so how I'm going to fix it I'm going to the plan view I will measure the cutting depth from the center of the aperture till the wall end will be your cutting depth okay that's 0.15 I will select 
fixed cutting depth and I will give this detail here 0 0.15 enter check the 3d now see here it's not cut it's perfectly placed so this is how you can fix the issue of apertures cutting your walls if not placed properly it's a small solution for your major issues with apertures so this is it guys in this video if you found the video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you